Hey. Hey, child. Is that now? Is that your recording or my? Huh? Is that my recording that came? Girl, through I don't there? know who recording. I, you know all these <laughs> recordings. I, I'm finna kick this one out. I think it's something with Zoom. Girl, you know, it's with the AI thing. I know, but it looked like my AI can't. I tell you, every time somebody come in and get to jump on me, then my app can't record. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's the truth. Okay. So that's how that happened. I'm in I the car. So. I was planning on being at home, but I'm running around as the Uber driver. For <laughs> you Uber driver. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you know I understand. I don't yes. know who this is. Let me, oh. Why is this doing this? This is so weird. I tell you, I'm going to close that and I'm going to let somebody else in. It's somebody else's recording trying to come in. Okay. <laughs> Girl, we got everybody's AI in the whole world. <laughs> Amy, thank you so much for joining us. I tell you, I got so many AIs coming in. I can't <laughs> coming in i'm like well, what in the world what in the world um well somebody gonna have to send me the recording because look like i can't uh, i can't even get my own ai to connect because everybody else's ai is connected i'm like wow this is pretty special like, okay y'all well oh, that's funny so i do need well laquita Laquita's uh, AI is going where everybody's AI is going. So it kind of don't make no difference. Somebody will send me the recording because mine won't. <laughs> uh, go figure, right? Oh, that is weird. Who can start a collaboration? Okay, that's that. All right, we're going to get started soon, y'all. Okay, maybe it's gonna let my AI pick up now. <laughs> then I'll have the recording and I can control, <laughs> I can control my destiny. Cause right now I, feel like I can't control my destiny. Yay. Uh, okay. It, it never said it's recording, probably cause it's wore out. The recording button. Oh, uh, I see it saying recording. I see it, but I don't know if that's me or somebody else. But we're going to find out right now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Ken, it's good to see you. Uh, it used to say Zandra's AI, but I guess my assistant ain't on today. Listen, I am one that believes in starting on time, and I'm a few minutes late. So let me get started. I so appreciate whoever's on the, I can't, you know, so many otters on the, I don't know who's on the line, but it don't really matter who I can see, I can see. So thank you so much for joining. <clears throat> Excuse me, got a little bit of a head cold, y'all. So bear with me as I go through this. I really like to kind of whiz through these materials fairly quickly because I like to leave a little bit of time uh, for Q and A. So, I'm gonna jump right in um, right away and share my screen. And then there will be time at the end for questions. So welcome to Why Streaming TV Matters. Cause let me tell you something. Uh, it has nothing to do with our, our own a streaming TV network. It has all to do with if you are not involved in streaming TV in some form or fashion, you are slowly, when I tell you you got a slow leak, you're going out of business because everybody is ingesting through either Roku, Amazon, or Apple. One of the things that I want you to think about, because this is critically important to know, did you understand that the big three that we grew up on, what I grew up on, I'm not going to date myself, but the big three was CBS, NBC, and ABC. And, and today, now the big three is Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple. Why? In order to see CBS News, NBC, ABC, you need to have either Roku, Amazon, or, or Apple. And if you don't have any of those three, you must still have a cable box. Really? I don't know of too many people with a cable box, but <laughs> That's the only way you're going to get the news. I had somebody the, um, at Doris contact me and said, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't seem to get the Super Bowl. I'm trying to get it on my TV. Okay, do you have Roku, Amazon, or Apple? Because that's the only way you're going to see the Super Bowl. So 
Uh, at the end of the day, Roku, Amazon, and Apple, what I'm saying to you is they're the big three now. And so we have to play differentially there. Now, I'd like to welcome everybody here. Can y'all please put your phone in the chat and the, uh, your email address and the city and state for which you are coming from? We would love to know that. So please put that in the chat uh, now or later. Uh, totally your, your choice. Now, I want to talk about the vision of Zandra TV Network because I believe that people honestly really believe, oh, Zandra left corporate America after 40 years and decided to own a TV network. That was not the case. Uh, I ran for as long as I could run. Um, but the vision that I had when I did leave corporate America is that I wanted to create a cost-effective global platform for small business entrepreneurs and owners because I felt like that we always get left behind. And so my goal at the time, seven years ago, was really that we were gonna do small business development, which we did, like uh, we had training classes that were on, uh, that was called the B-Train, the business training program. Um, we wanted to have more of an educational platform. And if you've heard me speak before, I always say, you know, I am in edutainment, not entertainment, because I believe that once we get the education, <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to mute. mute. Okay. Um, I believe that um, education is just knowledge unless you apply it. And so I believe in uh, providing education in a way that you can apply it to what you're doing. And then last but not least was brand awareness, marketing and advertisement. I believe that we need as a small business to establish our brand, create awareness and have the same marketing and advertisement that everybody else has. And so at that time, you know, when we first started seven years ago, we didn't have TV. And so I was like, God, but we're going to make sure you get press releases and you're in magazines and that you're, you know, at least have some visibility beyond your local neighborhood. So we started out like that. And then later on came streaming TV, actually about a year later. And so we've had a stream, streaming TV for the last six, mm, a little bit over six years um, in streaming. And so streaming TV then became a platform that I embraced and said, you know what, this is really how we level the playing field. Why shouldn't you have a commercial advertisement on TV? Why shouldn't you be featured in an interview, not for five minutes, but for 30 minutes? And why shouldn't it be on TV more than uh, that five minutes? And so we make sure that you get visibility for a year and we give you a whole bunch of other assets that we think are real important. So that was the vision of this company. It still is the vision of the company. Um, that we be able to provide a global platform. Now, um, I like to look at this evolution slide. It, you know, it's a little fun. But at the end of the day, where I started on TV, it was to this TV to the left with, with you know, with the rainbow. You know, I, I, at, at 11.55, you know, um, first the flag is going to wave and then the rainbow came on. There, there was no TV past midnight. And so... And by the way, um, this is what I would call your analog uh, uh, day. And analog basically means that I grew up with an antenna on top of my TV, and I, I was the remote control for my mother and father. And so I was actually turning the channels, but there wasn't even a remote control. Now, what we've seen is a huge evolution of TV, right? And so I think about this all the time, and I say, wow. Uh, if I, you know, reading the tea leaves and steeping them, if you look at the way TV is going, if you look at the size of one cell phone, I always like to have this to show because they're getting bigger and bigger. My core belief is, is that we won't fit up our homes anymore, every bedroom with a big screen TV on the wall. Uh, why would we do that when people can use their phone to watch TV, they can use their tablet, they can use their laptop. And so I think the day of you know, every single room having a TV in it is over um, and, and people will use their other devices in order to be able to see streaming TV. Uh, and I think that's why the phone has evolved the way it is. Uh, I remember having a first cell phone and I thought I was the coolest thing since sliced bread, man. I had a big old battery pack and I was cool. And I thought, wow, this is something. And then all of a sudden, you know, phones change. It came out with a flip phone and, and Blackberry. And I tell you, I thought I could work a stylist better than anybody I knew. Uh, but that didn't stay around long before the iPhone started to get bigger and bigger and bigger. 
all these different versions to what are we on 13, 14, 15? I don't know. All I know is the phone is big. It's got multiple cameras on the back <laughs> and you can do anything in the world with your phone. And in fact, if we don't have our phone, we are lost in the wilderness. So people are ingesting information on this phone. So you got to figure out how to be on there, right? Not just on YouTube. There's a ton of information out there on YouTube, but, but the real influencers have kind of made it already, okay? So when I look at, you know, how to scale and grow your digital footprint, that's really what we're all about. We're just not about TV. We are a digital marketing and advertisement company. That's how we started. That's how we are continuing. We have things uh, like this Tizeman, which is a DIY of TV, uh, where you can literally use your phone, record your elevator pitch, and then we'll stream it on TV for you. Now, isn't that nice? And then, <clears throat> and then you're able to get your own QR code and your own custom link to that recording. We teach you how to use it more effectively. But we also do things like interviews. And like I said, more than 30 minutes. We want you to have a good while on TV. I mean, more than five minutes, excuse me. We do a 30 minute interview and you're on TV a minimum of one year. We are able to create a custom commercial for your business because we believe that all of this is important. But then we also have Zandra TV Audio Nation that is on regular audio cast or podcast as you would call it, but it's audio. And we also have Zcast Network, which is our um, audio radio network. So we have that as well. And then we believe in press and print. And so we do things like getting you in a magazine. Look, I just have to do a little bit of brag, no fact, all facts uh, and a little bit of brag that um, I'm on the cover of a Spanish speaking magazine called I Am. Uh, this month for uh, Women's uh, History Month. I'm so excited. And so we're in English and in Spanish. So that was a really big deal. But those kind of cover stories and that kind of stuff in the print really helps to solidify your digital footprint. And that's what really most important is most important to us is that we are able to do that for you. We believe in old fashioned press releases. Don't let nobody tell you it's out of date. It's very much in tune and it really helps to set your digital footprint. And then we, again, we're in education. And so we have things like our Incubator Academy. Uh, and we are now in the process of developing yet a second type of academy in order to educate you on the power of streaming TV. Now, listen, uh, I'm just going to spew some information, y'all. Do y'all realize that 8 billion Google searches are performed daily? And when I think about that, I say to myself, now, how many of uh, y'all, 8 billion, are you showing up in? If you are not captivating the first 15 to 20 pages of Google, you are already getting left behind. There are two, over 2 billion active users on Facebook, about 155 friends on average is what we have. There's 2 billion um, on, on, uh, on IG and about 822 million on LinkedIn. And I'm telling you, y'all, the algorithms are changing every single day, which is causing us to have hiccups, like people not seeing us. I, I posted a video and I was just telling, I think it was Cortina, we were in the uh, studio working together today. And I told her, I said, girl, it's been a long time since I got six or 700 views of a video in, in less than a day, a day and a half. You know, that just doesn't happen anymore because the algorithms are changing so quickly. Uh, we do good to get three to 400 people that might see our um, posts. And so we are constantly posting, but if we're constantly posting, so legit everybody else. But one of the things that I wanna tell you about Google that's really important, and I'm gonna date myself here. When Google first started, Google didn't have anything but news. And I think the font size was at probably about 16 or 18. It was really big. But now if you look at Google, Google has all of these different sections, right? They've got videos, they've got images, they've got logos, they've got, you know, news. They got everything, you got, they got everything on you. They're picking up everything. Well, that's why it's important that you're filling the pipeline so that Google is picking it up. Now, here's the thing you need to know. 82% of the internet traffic is videos. Oh my goodness, what does that say to you? Every video can't be this. You can't do a selfie video on a live video for everything. You need to good, do, use good video that can actually be transcribed very well. And so the way you do that is by getting professional video done for you. Everybody needs it. Everybody needs a speaker's reel. Everybody needs you know, that 30 second uh, reel in your uh, bio. And so we provide those assets for you. Now, 
the top three providers, we talked about it early on, is Roku, Amazon, and Apple. What makes Zondra TV so different, though, is that we're on multiple Roku, Amazon, and Apple TV. And so that means that all of these different audiences are viewing us, and those particular networks are promoting us. We don't have to do the promotion, they're promoting for us. And so that gives us a reach uh, of roughly about 350 million homes, uh, potentially that we're in. You'll see a couple of other names in here that you don't see, didn't see on the previous slide, like Hulu. I should have Disney up here too, because Hulu and Disney um, has invited us in. And so we're able to actually stream our commercial ads on Hulu and Disney. Isn't that amazing? You could get to decide where you would like that commercial dropped on Hulu or Disney, and we'll drop it according to those demographics into Hulu and Disney, and they will actually feature them on the genre that you choose. So that's really uh, exciting. But we're also on the Rewind Network. We're also on Connect to Your City. We're also on Comcast Cable regionally. Uh, and, and we're actually on our way. I'd like I get excited. We're on our way to DC on Friday to receive four Comcast awards where our shows actually were uh, chosen as uh, one of the top four uh, on Comcast cable. So we're excited about that. So uh, that, that's really special for us as well. All right, let's talk about why being on streaming TV matters. Cause it's not just, you know, oh, get, a, get a show or, you know, get on t TV and get an interview. But yeah, I wanna talk to you about why it's important. It's important because it's all associated with what? Your brand. Your brand really does matter. And so um, people are trying to tell you, and, and, and small business entrepreneurs are, are really guilty of this. I think I was guilty of it too until I learned better. And that is, I need a website. I need a logo. I need a color scheme. I need, you need all these things. But the truth of the matter is, is that your brand is not your logo. It is not your uh, website. It is not your color scheme. Uh, it really is you. You are the brand. And so our goal is to socialize you. And all of these things that are supported around the brand are the things that support. It's like, it's those things that, that are the, what I call the confirmation of your brand, but it's not your brand. Nobody buys your website. Nobody buys your logo. Nobody buys a message that's on your website. In fact, if you look at what people are doing today, landing pages are the way to go. Getting people directly to your call to action quickly, right? So your brand matters and you matter to us. And we want to make sure that your brand stands out. One of the ways to stand out is start, start creating that digital footprint. So listen, I think now, you know, everybody know about Monopoly because to me, you know, what is, what's, what's the game of Monopoly are really all about? It's about buying up all the land. I want all the land. I mean, I want all of the great ones. I mean, we want to have the Grand Hotel. We want to have, you know, what is it, Reading uh, Railroad. We want all of the big ones, right? But at the end of the day, it's the whole game is about getting as much real estate as you can. You're buying up property. Well, guess what? Digital streaming is exactly the same way. You gotta buy up some real estate. So what does that really mean? Oh my God, Zondra, what? Buy up real estate digitally? No, what you gotta do is you've got to make sure that you're in every facet digitally. So that means, yes, you, you do need a YouTube and you should have your reels on YouTube, not your full shows. You need to be streaming on TV. You need to be on TV on Roku, Amazon, Apple. You need to be on Facebook. You need to be on LinkedIn. You need to be on IG. You need to be on Twitter. You need to be on Twitter. All of that. You need to be everywhere. And you need to be in magazines. And you need to have press releases written. All of that actually changes the formula for you. There's no other way to change it. I wish I could tell you that one or the other is going to work for you, but I am, I would, I'd be wrong to tell you. And that's not what this is about. This is informational, not being disguised as a sales call. I'm telling you that you have to be in every facet and you have to post all the time because the algorithms change all the, all the time. And so it's really important that you buy up that real estate. I know I'm saying buying, but all of it don't cost anything. Some of it is absolutely free, but you got to start garnishing your real estate in order to change the answer in your business. And I'm going to tell you why. I only use myself as an example, you all. 
before I got into streaming TV and start, started to understand the power of my digital footprint, I never had an international client. Now I have international clients all over the world. Why? Because my digital footprint goes everywhere. Everybody is on Google. I don't care what language you're in, you're going to Google as the source of truth. So you have to look at Google as the source of truth. And the only way to make a difference is to feed it with all different types of information. And so that's what we're here to help you do. When I think about digital marketing, it ain't one thing. See, I, I would love to be able to, oh, it's, you know, being on TV. TV is one piece of the pie. It is not everything. Smart TVs tell you that you got to be on TV, but you got to also do advertising. You got to know your target audience. You got to do market analysis. You have to know what your product or service is. You got to know where your clients are. All of that really does matter, you guys. So it's a mix of everything, but it's important that you start really working on that mix. You've got to be able to sustain. Now, you know, word is what COVID is, you know, increasing and people are getting COVID again. If the world shuts down, you have to have a digital component to your business. And so that's why we talk about streaming TV. There are three ways to enter into streaming. So let's talk about those three ways. Either you're going to be interviewed on TV, um, you are going to become a producer, or you're going to get a commercial advertisement on TV. One of the three is the way you're going to enter in. If somebody tells you there's 10 different ways to enter into TV, I'm telling you they're not telling you the truth. Those are the three ways today. Now, we do have a fourth way that's called the DIY. We talked about a biztisement, but that is really just your elevator pitch. And how much can you tell people in one minute or less? Not a lot. And so, yep, it's one way to stick your toe into streaming, but the most uh, ample way to do it is through an interview, becoming a producer, or either you get a commercial ad. Now, a lot of times when I tell people commercials, right, they go like, oh my God. You know, the first thing that comes out of mind, I don't care what anybody says, is the Super Bowl. Well, my God, how much is a commercial gonna cost me? I, I mean, I, I, before I was in this business, I would have said the same thing. How much is a commercial gonna cost me? Is it gonna cost me $25,000, $30,000? Because we just think in terms of that. But what has happened is we have leveled the playing field through streaming TV to make sure that it, commercials are within your reach and within your budget. Because what if it's in your reach, but it ain't in your budget, right? So we wanna make sure that that's what we're really doing. So we have commercial packages that really make sense for a small business entrepreneur. Now, do we handle mid to large size businesses? Yes, but we really focus on small businesses because that's what we wanna be known for. Making sure that you have the same services as a mid to large size business and a price point that is agreeable for your budget. Okay, so I wanna talk about what's the difference y'all. So the man on the left with the little yellow uh, machine uh, and, and, and Stanley Steamer, the carpet cleaner. Now listen, every if you in my age group, maybe not in my age group, everybody knows about Stanley Steamer. We may not use them, uh, but we think about them when we think about getting our carpet clean. The thing about Stanley Steamer and the guy with, uh, you know, that has the uh, yellow equipment, they're both using the same chemical. But what's the real difference between Stanley Steamer and the guy on the left? Well, the guy um, with the, you know, with a limited budget, uh, maybe is not doing any exposure advertising at all. Stanley Steamer does exposure advertising. You see it on TV periodically, uh, no matter where you're looking, even, at, you know, they've been on TV. TV probably for like 60 years, right? And we know the jingle. And when we think about getting our carpet clean, we think about them, but we probably go to Groupon or somebody and see if there's a, a special going on before we give them our money, right? But at the end of the day, the only difference between these two companies is exposure advertising. One of the things I wanna do is I wanna really, really uh, get rid of the myths. Marketing and advertisement. Advertisement on TV, has always been exposure. But somehow we are believing that it's conversion. But here's what I want you to think about. There is no way on streaming TV when you can have, you can see TV on four different devices, your laptop, your cell phone, your tablet, and your TV at home. There's no way for me to know that somebody is sitting and watching your commercial. There's no way. How, 
Nobody has eyes into people's homes or into what they're doing or into their car, or into their office or into wherever they are, right? You don't have that visibility. So exposure advertising is what it's always been all of our lives. It's just exposure. That's all it is. This is not a tool with, oh, I'm going to run one commercial and then all of a sudden I'm a millionaire. Or I got five people calling me. It doesn't work like that, you all. It's about repetitiveness. The more that I do, the more uh, probability of conversion happens. Okay. <clears throat> so I want to talk about this real quick because I like to talk about gun smoke because it's so old. It's 68 years old, y'all. And the thing about gun smoke that really, really gets me is that it's still on TV 68 years later. But I guarantee you this commercial about sugar snacks is not the commercial that is playing around gun smoke today. It's actually, you know, what's playing is something current. Somebody wants to be on an audience that they want access to this audience to see them. And so the commercials are running, but it's not sugar smacks, you guys. In fact, 68 years later, it's something that looks like this. It's in color. And so Gunsmoke is still making money on their, con their commercial, that co on their show. Commercials are still playing to this day. So people that are, you know, thinking about being a producer, this is how you monetize. You do it the same way that Gunsmoke does it, through commercial advertisement. All right. We've cooked up something special for y'all, and it's pretty amazing. So let's talk about this. <laughs> okay. It is um, called our micro network. Now, here's the thing. I'll talk about it, and then we'll, we'll talk about it again later on. Um, on the third Thursday of every month at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time, we hold this thing called Monetize and Maximize Your Content on TV. Why? Because when we built this, we thought about, well, I'm not the only one that want to own a network. I mean, come on. I believe that you and everybody on this call might want to have a, their, their own network, but why should you have to spend the money that I spend? That's what I'm talking about. Why not have your own network inside of a season network so that you can adopt everything that we have becomes part of you, but you don't have to build it. All you need to do is think about going to get you 12 like-minded, like-spirited people that want to be on your network that you get to name and you all actually, what I call, um, collaborate together, have synergy, and literally uh, share your content together. So now, instead of you just having a podcast, as an example, of just you, you've got um, 12 of you that are curating your content together. And so everybody is helping everybody to, to rise, right? Um, if you have a podcast today, you're out there on your own. Yeah, you do your podcast and then you distribute it. Yes, you do. But it's just you. But think about if you had 12 other people that were also promoting for you and a network that's promoting for you. So that's what the micro network is. Monetize and maximize your content. Third Thursday, join us, tell a friend, and I'm going to be giving you a QR code in just a little bit. Um, the elevator pitch directory, I want to talk just a little bit about that. Biztizement, we talked about it. I want to tell you why this is important. Have you ever went to a networking event and then uh, there's 50 people, everybody get to stand up and say who they are, got 30 second pitch. And, and, but by the time you get to number 12, you're like, ooh, what did number one say again? I was trying to write it down. I was trying to listen. The next person's coming up. It just gets to be confusing. And so our core belief is, why don't you record a good elevator pitch, put it on TV, take your link and promote with it. Promote on social media that you're on TV, that you're being featured, your business is being featured uh, and listen to your elevator pitch. Why not? Put that in your signature on your email, put it on your website. So this is the DIY of TV. Imagine being able to do this and have this being featured for a whole year on our elevator pitch directory. So that's that for that. I think that's pretty awesome. <clears throat> take a closer look at it. It looks something like this. It's just like a regular directory. Advertisement, authors, beauty, and cosmetology. <clears throat> I apologize, y'all. I told y'all I had a little head cold. Um, <clears throat> Coaching. And all of these people actually have their elevator pitch on, on TV, and they can use um, their QR code to promote with. And so that's the intent of this. Okay, let's talk about becoming a producer, y'all. I'm kind of blazing through this so I give you time for questions. 
not everybody wants to be a producer, but there are some people that, that really have dreamed about, I want to have my own talk show. I want to be on TV. I mean, people want to be on TV. I, you know, I, now that I'm on TV, I want to be on TV. Uh, I think I wanted to be on TV, but I only wanted to be interviewed on TV. I didn't know that I could be a talk show host. I thought that was way outside of the realm of what I could do. But let me talk to you about becoming a producer. One of the reasons that you would do it is because you want to share your message more broadly. And um, what I've learned is that you become a recognized leader in streaming. Now, this is the, this is the real deal, holy field, y'all. Let me tell you, when you go to a networking event and people ask you what you do and you lead with, I'm a TV producer, people like take, they take it, they're <laughs> taken aback with it. They go like, a TV producer, tell me more. See, TV producer is something that everybody can't say. Uh, many of us are coaches, many of us are speakers, many of us are, you know, you know, um, bookkeepers and, you know, whatever. We're, we're, we got a lot of those, but we don't have that many TV producers. So when you lead with that, it really is an eye opener and it opens a conversation. So that's another reason why people are doing it. Also, it solidifies your brand and puts you in a different category for your core business. So what does that mean? That means that if I am now a coach, I can charge a little bit more money in my core services because I become a celebrity influencer just by being on TV. So it's kind of a wonderful place to be. You know, you get to own and keep your intellectual knowledge, your IK as I call it. And then there's new revenue opportunities that'll be open up to you that you can start making other revenue streams for yourself. So let's talk about the three ways to get into TV if you want to be a producer. You can self-produce it. So I've got people on the line, uh, America's Super Mom that started out in self-production, which basically means that she went and hired her own production crew and did her own season. I think it was six episodes for season one. And she hired her production crew that did all her editing, her filming and everything in order for her to get on TV. Uh, and that's a costly, uh, challenging situation. Uh, but you can do it yourself. We definitely believe that if you want to do self-production, you can. Uh, the other way that you get into TV as a producer is, is Sandra TV production. And that's where we do everything for you, lock, stock, and barrel. We film, we edit, we create your look, sound, and feel. We create, uh, you fly into Dallas, you record uh, your uh, TV shows in two days uh, because we're a batch processor. So you're done in two days. And then you go back and keep doing what you're doing and we develop everything else for you. And then the last way that you get into TV is through podcasts. So if you have a podcast that's audio and video, come on in. We got room for you at the end. We'll distribute you on TV and you'll become a TV producer uh, that way. So we have a nine month incubator academy uh, that also is included uh, where we help you produce your shows your shows are produced usually somewhere between four and six months after being in the academy. Uh, we're gonna help you with your TV tile design. We're gonna do multiple press releases. I mean, you're gonna get podcast interviews. You're gonna be interviewed on my show, a personal one-on-one -on -one business coaching because we're going outside of the academy. We wanna do business coaching and I'm a certified business coach to help you really nest your business uh, with what you're doing uh, on TV. It shouldn't be that you're five or six uh, lines on your signature of what you do. We teach you how to maybe kind of shorten that down and get it more concise. There are five ways uh, to monetize. And so those five ways is through appearance fees, commercial ads, uh, title or episode sponsor. And then we have pay-per-view. And then last but not least, um, we also have biztizement that you can also uh, monetize through. And I guess we do have one more way, and that is uh, our micro networks, which uh, is kind of a separate piece because you get to develop your own network and at the same time be able to monetize all of these five ways as well. All right, next slide. Oh, well, okay, well, there you go. I guess I just stopped sharing. I got tired. Uh, let me go to the next slide. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Let me... Uh, get to my last slide. I think I was getting to my last slide. All right. Or is it my system? Can y'all see my screen? 
Can y'all hear me? Okay, I'm gonna share again. I don't know what's going on. This happens every day at about this time. Let me see if I can get back on. Okay, let me get there, y'all. Oh, you know, technical problems. Well, I tell you. Let me go back and share, see if I can share with y'all. Uh, that's technology for you. There we go. So my, my last question is, what's your jam? You got to figure out what your jam is. I, mean, I ain't selling you, I'm telling you. Figure out your jam. Are you going to be interviewed on TV? Are you going to get a commercial and run it and land it demographically where you want it to be? Or are you going to come become a TV producer? Or maybe yet you want to think about having your own micro network and be able to showcase your products, your services, and everything under your own brand uh, and get you 12 uh, producers that want to produce with you uh, that have podcasts already created, but they need distribution on TV. It's a moneymaker for you all. And so you have to decide where you kind of want to play. The only thing that I would ask you to do, my call to action tonight is, would you please add the Zondra TV network channel on Roku, Amazon, or Apple? Go and add that channel. If not, please go to uh, ZondraTV.com and look at our great content. We have categories and we have so many categories. We have lifestyle and uh, faith and inspiration. We have business, we have finance, we have Ooh, entertainment. We've kind of gotten some of everything. And so go check us out at ZondraTV.com or either at the channel. Last but not least, listen, get on the bus, Gus. Y'all got to get on the bus. May 30th and 31st, um, we are leaving out of Dallas on May 30th, heading to Colleen, Texas. Now, let me talk about Colleen. Colleen is about 140 miles uh, outside of Dallas. It's a small town but we have reserved uh, the convention center and we are going to be doing a TV media extravaganza. Um, the bus will leave out of Dallas. It'll uh, take us right into clean. Uh, it, it includes a mixer on Thursday night, uh, May 30th. Uh, it includes on the 31st, you're going to get training from, I, I'm talking about a whole bunch of folks in different categories, like how to tell your story. And you're gonna, you know, I'm gonna be talking about the Blue Rose moment and people are gonna be talking about the Actor Academy and how to get engaged in that and what that really means. We're, we're gonna be doing press releases for the people that are on the bus. We're gonna make sure you get magazine articles and interviews and, oh my God, micro photo shoots. And there's gonna be TV celebrities there. And we're gonna have a panel at the mixer and all, all of this, the bus, your hotel stay, um, your meals while you're uh, on, on location at the convention center, everything is covered in this bus tour. So I need you to scan that QR code and reserve your spot today, now for real. Why are we doing this? Because I think it's one thing to say, get on the bus, but it's another thing to understand why we're doing what we're doing. We are doing this on May 30th and 31st in order to set you up with the digital assets that you need for the remainder of the year. We want you to close the year strong. And so we specifically scheduled this so that you can close the year strong with magazine articles, with interviews, with press releases, with reels, everything that you need to be successful for the remainder of the year. And I'm gonna tell you how much it costs. Getting on the bus costs $650. $650, put your deposit down, and I think you have two to three months to pay for it. So listen, where can you go for $650 that includes a bus ride, your hotel, your meals, and all of these things we're talking about? Micro photo shoot, press releases, magazine. Where are you going to get that at? Get on the bus, Gus. That's what I have to say. Don't need to discuss much. <laughs> and then last but not least, I talked about the micro network. Uh, here is the registration link. If you would like to copy that link down, you can do so. Uh, it's micro.beyondztv.com. Uh, go there, register. It's free. It's, again, just informational for us to be able to talk through. Um, if you have a podcast and you want to think about getting a micro network, go and check it out, y'all. It's 45 minutes of your time, and it will be ever so worth it. And then last but not least, here we go. 
Schedule your discovery call if you want to at beyondctv.com to learn more about becoming a producer, learn more about an interview, whatever you need, we're here to serve. And so I want to make sure that you have that as well. So with that, I'm going to stop share and we are at 640, about 40 minutes of, of my time, of your time has been taken, but I always like to leave time for input or questions. So any input or questions? Yes, Amy. Hello, Zandra. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, I'm in Norman, Oklahoma. We're neighbors. I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. We are neighbors. Yes. Um, hey, I may have misunderstood the purpose of this, and I apologize, but I'm part of Deb Drummond's 262, and this was the link that I was given um, to come talk about the questions that I had so um if I'm in the wrong wrong place you in the wrong place because usually I do a recorded (laughs) session and she should have been sending that recorded session out but listen Amy you're here now so I would not send you away and not be able to answer your (laughs) questions I don't think anybody will have a problem with you asking the questions what are your questions I apologize I um during the the talk that I'm going to give, it's the day before my book launch. So I'm going to be in a hotel room. And so setting up the backdrop, like this is the one that I use all the time, but it's a, it's a a virtual background. And so I'm, I'm concerned about setting up background wise in a hotel room. Um, You know, I just, I wanted to get your thoughts on that. Yeah. um, So here's what I think. So I'm going to give you my candid. Um, knowing that this is going to be on TV. Now you're looking really well. So I don't, I don't know if you have a green screen. Uh, do you, or do you have a green chair, a green screen chair or just a white background? So that okay. it's, well, yeah. there are two things that I, I would suggest for you. One is go to Amazon. If you'd like to get a green screen, uh, chair, there's a, it's not a chair. It's actually a chair fan that you put on your chair. The green screen, if you want to use your virtual background, will actually keep you from fading in and out. Okay. And you could you could pack that in your suitcase and literally put it on the back of the of the office chair that's usually in a room. It's always there. <clears throat> you would just put it around your head area so that when you <clears throat> excuse me actually use your virtual background, your hair won't fade out and your face won't fade out, but you've got to stay within the realms of the size of the background, which is about this much. So I use a lot of hand movement. I can't go way up here. I got to stay, keep it. You got to keep it right here. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. So that's number one. Number two is I always feel like that you can get a backdrop and pack it up in your suitcase as well and take you some push pins and be able to find a wall, put the push pins on the wall with your backdrop, pin it up, and that's your backdrop. And you literally can have that. So you can also okay. do it that way. Okay. And then is this pink shirt too bright? Like this is what I plan well, to wear. Like, is that too much? I think it's absolutely amazing. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Any other questions? No, you good? Okay. All right. Any other comments or questions you all? Okay. I think you did an amazing job. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) I'm cooking and you know, my kids are around, so I'm muted out, but great job. Okay, thank you very much. All right, it's good to see you, Anita. Very good to see you, Kate. I'll see you with your high five. I'm giving you high five there. Okay, listen, uh, I thank you for your time. I thank y'all for being here. Uh, you could be anywhere and you decided to be here with uh, with Zondra TV Network. Uh, we will be back on again uh, next uh, first Wednesday of every month. So y'all know, promote, 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 get more people online. We'll see you soon. And I will say peace and blessings to you all. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.